Yes. <laughs> Dr. Mindy in the house. All right. <laughs> I appreciate that. The carnivore diet. Because of what we eat. Honestly, you've really touched my heart. Dopamine is the molecule of more. I think what's interesting about dopamine is that we have really gotten into this dopamine saturated world. We're often chasing dopamine and yet dopamine's a big liar. Dopamine should be looked at as a motivator, not as a happiness molecule. So when we get dopamine, we, it moves us and propels us towards something. And when we get that some, something and, and we achieve that thing, then dopamine should stop. It actually does stop. And then serotonin should come in. And serotonin comes in and says, okay, you, you did a good job. You, you should be proud. And serotonin is the, I call it kind of a yummy neurotransmitter. It's that neurotransmitter that just makes you feel warm inside and makes you feel good. And makes you feel accomplished. If you've ever hit a goal and you are sit back and you're like, whoa, wow, that was a lot. Um, I, I'm really proud of my work. I'm proud of what I just did. I'm excited for the results I just got. And you walk around throughout the day cherishing some goal that you just hit. That's serotonin. Dopamine got you to be able to put the action in to be able to get the goal. Serotonin comes in to tell you, good job. So they both are necessary for joy. The most important part I want to bring into this conversation right now is that you need estrogen to be in her full glory in order to get dopamine and serotonin. And for a cycling woman, you are getting this from day one to day 10. Now, this is where it's really rough for the menopausal woman and for the perimenopausal woman is it, we are supposed to lose estrogen. That's part of the natural process. So as we lose estrogen, we're also losing dopamine and serotonin. So one of the key things that is emerging in the work that I've been doing with patients, but also the work that we're doing in my Reset Academy, and we have a health coaching program called Thought Thrive is we've been backfilling in with amino acids. And for dopamine and serotonin, some of the amino acids that are very key are things like 5-HTP, tryptophan, are, both of these are really important amino acids. But in general, all amino acids have an impact. You have to have a good dose of amino acids to support dopamine and um, serotonin production. You also need estrogen. So there is a synergy of four things that need to come together to bring you joy. You got to have your aminos in check. You got to have estrogen, help support estrogen at its age appropriate sp spot. And you need to have um, dopamine and serotonin. Why menopause is so tricky is because we are losing estrogen, therefore we lose dopamine, therefore we lose serotonin. So amino acids become even more important.